Lekken Greg Vegan Camp, the 27th of February 2019. This month have been uh, defined by some work with, uh, with volunteers and also the smoke season has been very very bad. Probably the most part of the smoke season and the bad air quality is due to burning of fields, sugarcane fields. The sugarcanes have these uh, sharp leaves that the farmers want to burn before they harvest the sugarcane itself. This is a sugarcane and you can see that if you go around in a field with no protection these leaves are like super very sharp. Until the workers have the proper conditions and there are many countries in the world where sugarcane harvest is done without burning the field so yeah and riding on the bike is with uh, a mask N95 which will take care probably hopefully take care of the 2.5 p.m. particles I, I was surprised that so many people came here during this time and I would probably go somewhere south where the air quality is uh, a bit better but it seems like whole Thailand is like covered by a smog it's uh, nothing new and but I think there's like more awareness about this uh, this this year because it's long time since it's been so bad uh, especially when you go to the bigger cities it's super bad so here it's like sometimes it's bad sometimes it's okay but overall I, I believe that people should stay away to make the signal even stronger so if all tourists stop coming to Thailand during this time I think there will be some light bulbs going on and and people might do something about it but if, when people still come then people don't really care mint some pumpkin from from the compost they are not they have not been planted here this raised bed thanks to the volunteers Jan Risto and Remo and a good friend Armin we made it a raised bed here Armin helped with uh, supporting some of the passion fruit dome and like made a really nice mulch and also the the bamboo fence to keep the chicken away and make it really nice path here it's just lovely but otherwise it's super dry so we need to water when we don't have super much mulch yet papaya still coming Usually I can see mountains quite clearly here, but I can only like see the silhouette right now. It's very faint in the background. Pineapples. It's amazing. I love it. Washing nut, soap nut. We have a tree nearby and we have harvest a lot of these soap nuts, soap berries, washing nuts. They're amazing for washing clothes and other... Avocado nursery is going well. There's coming a new, new avocado and we have planted the avocados around in the garden. This is like also a papaya nursery. Two papayas growing here. And the eggplant is also very lovely. But apparently there's some infection on the eggplant. High quality banana bread. I'm guessing two to three hundred baht per loaf. Buy online. We ship to Chiang Mai and Bangkok. Super ripe orange jackfruit from the tree. More bananas. One of the benefits of the dry season is definitely that you have super crisp clothes during <laughs> one or two hours in the sun. There are not so many mosquitoes, so that's also a good benefit. The next projects will probably be to have like super sprinklers like sprinkling all the air or have a dome, sprinkler dome around the vegan camp so we're not affected by the smoke and smog and people burning that would be excellent yeah I think the new station filter station and water station has been built this month I don't think it was here last month the mangoes are still young but uh, 
coming strong. The longan has started to flower. Here's some kind of onion flower. Tomatoes directly from the plant. Avocado has outgrown me. It's growing really well near the bathroom where we take showers. So it has a lot of water. I hope it will have avocados in the next, within one or two years, hopefully. Friend, good friend, Robbie, also known as Snow Rider, helped with uh, harvesting some of these bamboo. And then the bamboo was used to replace this pole because the old one was completely eaten by by insects. Volunteers and a friend helping harvesting more bamboo. Harvesting and cutting. And in the mornings we usually have birds in the top of these bamboo singing nice songs. We started bagging some of the mangoes so they don't crack and they have not, will not be eaten by insects also. I would also like to tell the story about the hammer which I've been telling for a long time regarding like the veganism and telling people what to do and not to do. I'm trying more and more to practice the Shaolin monk thinking that you should need to control yourself and people will start acting better. But let's say that I have the hammer. I have a hammer, I start hitting my own head. So most people will probably stop me if I'm taking the hammer and hitting my own head because I'm like hurting myself so most people will stand they will not just stay okay he's just hitting his hand with the hammer I was, I'm bleeding and stuff you know people will stop me the same feeling I have when people eat animal proteins that I, 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 I might need to help them or stop them because they're hurting themselves and that leads me also to the burning and the the smoke and the air quality. People are burning, people are doing, they don't know what they're doing. And they are like, they're killing people. So if I was running around with a hammer and hitting people in other, hitting other people, they would put me in jail. But when people burn and kill people because they have health issues in the lungs, then nobody cares it's just like you cannot pinpoint who did it I know they're like trying to say okay don't buy the sugar cane from from farmers who where, where their sugar cane has burn marks I don't believe in that they I, I don't believe that the factory will say no to that we will need to say like we need to find the solutions there are solutions out there and implement them and if the the companies don't understand that then they will need to have like super high fines and go to prison or something it's in the same way as if I had a hammer hammering people in the head so people are now and companies probably this is like the money this not the people it's the, it's, it's the companies these people with money need to understand that they will need to go to prison or whatever because they induce they kill people by making these smoke problems. Actually from here the mountains are more visible. I don't know if you can see it. Some of the mangoes have been back too young so they just fall off the tree like this. There's a bird party going on already. I need to harvest this uh, banana rack. Which means cutting down the whole palm produces bananas and then dies and there will be new shoots coming out automatically from the soil there. And in the background you have the neighboring land which has been soil turned, herbicides probably. And this soil hasn't been turned as long as I've been here. This avocado is quite small, never been watered before, so still going strong. I guess the next big thing will be the mango harvest and taking care of the mangoes but also the mango bagging and then harvesting the mangoes, eating mangoes. It will be hard times. Cavendish chilling.
and Robbie aka Snow Rider helped with fixing the lady with natural products like earth soil mix and the strawberries are trying really hard to produce upcoming mulberry dome the spa area actually one of the volunteers was sleeping here a couple of nights in a mosquito net we had a full house this month and this is some kind of Thai apple uh, it's not the standard purple Thai apple but it's a different type and it's, I'm looking forward to these fruits the asparagus is having a hard time not producing right now but maybe they, it will start producing in the wet season I guess I need to harvest these soon because the palm is not doing very well the round Thai apple banana really really nice too all the green peppers are dying I'm not sure why maybe it's just the soil type or the soil acidity or I have no idea caviar lime is still alive but it grows really really slowly the bees have left the beehive I'm not sure if it's because they've hatched or it's too dry or what's going on we have harvested many of these giant passion fruit giant granadilla They're really fun fun to eat these are like sweeter tomatoes they're really nice tomatoes from the plant what else can I can I wish for Hongan flowers the fig tree but anyway as long as you keep eating plant whole foods plant-based then your body is more able to handle all this stress that is uh, from air quality and other stuff so a healthy lifestyle together with a good diet plant-based vegan and whole foods high in carbs you're on the right path you might be exposed to to some random stuff air quality bad water whatever so of, of course it's much better to have pure air pure water pure food but it's also about lifestyle so if you take care of yourself and that will probably not affect you as bad as if you just eat junk food and animal proteins the orange jackfruit fresh from the tree so tasty if you want to uh, follow what's going on at the camp in the more busy periods you can check out the Instagram page and the Facebook pages I will have some links in the description below.